What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about how to ski with young Norwegian children as our teachers. So this is a video series made in Norway about how to ski. Which is great for me, because, like many Americans, I don't know how to ski. But, to my surprise, the guides in this video who are going to teach me are actually little Norwegian children. So, I'm very interested to see how good Norwegian kids are at skiing and teaching about skiing. So with that being said, I'm very curious. Uh, so let's take a look. If you want to enjoy the elements, oh. you have to master them. Oh my God. And if you want to learn how to master them, you have to learn from the best. <laughs> what? We have been skiing our whole life. That's... What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This is very dramatic, by the way. Very <laughs> Meet your new instructors. We have been skiing our whole life. That's six years of knowledge. And now... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Uh, my brain can't even comprehend this. These kids are doing tricks. <laughs> they are, these Norwegian children are amazing. Um, I, are, are a lot of kids in Norway this good at skiing? Because this is just, this is just not something I've ever seen before. Like, I don't know. This is kind of crazy to me. That's six years of knowledge. Six? And now we want to pass it on to you. <laughs> From how to gear up to how to carve. Wow! To get you ready for an adventure here in Norway. Okay. I am Orten. I am Alexandra. I am Fanille. <laughs> and this is our mean mask class. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> going into this, but it wasn't that. They seem amazing. They're very smart kids and very, very, very good at skiing. Did they say they're just six years old? Is that possible? Okay, uh, this is a, this is a six-part series. Um, pretty short videos, but, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. I still can't really get over how young they are and how good they are. How to gear up. I am Orton. <laughs> I am Alexandra. I am Fanny Le. And this is our mean mask class. Uh, so this one is about how to gear up. Again, um, as an American, I don't really know much about skiing. I don't know how to ski. So <laughs> if I can get over the fact that they are kids, I'm actually excited to, to learn some stuff about uh, skiing and, and Norwegian skiing. We have seen some weird stuff out there. Here is what you need for a day in the slopes. <laughs> to get and, and, they're really, really good at English. I just realized that they're already so good at English. Started, you need skis. Ski boots yep. and poles. Okay. Everyone falls, even us, so please don't forget a helmet and goggles. Right. If you don't have your own gear, you can just rent it. Right. Ski boots can be difficult to put on. Remember to always open it properly. The boot should feel really tight. Make sure it's not too big for you. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. You probably want the boot really, really tight so that you have a lot of control over the ski. That's a... <laughs> These kids have really good uh, insight, actually. <laughs> One thing we see all the time is the goggle gap. 
close the gap between the goggles and okay. the helmet. It's okay. safer and it looks better. Okay. This is a buff. It's nice to have under a helmet instead of a scarf or a hat. This goes under a helmet? You can even pull it up over your face if it's really cold outside. Oh, wow. I, I've never really seen that before. Is this common in Norway? Um, I'm not sure what they called this thing. A, a boof or? You can even, it's not. what they call it? This is a buff. It's a buff? Do they call it a buff? They're gloss or mittens, but mittens tend to be warmer. Now, ah. best tip is to never get hungry. Bring a snack to share. <laughs> a snack? <laughs> yeah, that... Wow, this is great. Um, honestly, uh, now that I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm getting used to how young they are, um, they actually have a lot to, they actually have a lot to teach, I can tell. They actually are very good at this. Um, I think here in America, we tend to look down on children a bit, a lot, <laughs> actually. And we don't really trust children to have a lot of responsibility. Uh, and maybe that's why I was caught off guard by how good they are at skiing. I think in Norway, Norwegians l allow children to explore and to do things and to go skiing and to have responsibility. Um, and and it's, a, it's different. It's a different culture. And uh, that, that's something big I'm kind of noticing here and and trying to get used to as an American. Okay, how to master the basics. I am Orton. I am Alexandra. I am Fanille. And this is our mean mask class. Okay. Never skied before, no worries. This is how to get started. Okay. The, the plow. This is good, because uh, this might be shocking to Norwegians, but I have never skied in my entire life. So I think, I think some huge amount of Norwegian population has skied and does ski. It's very different here in America. The first thing you need to learn is to stop. And stopping is easy. Just plow. Slide the back of the skis out like a pizza. Like, like a pizza. You turn the skis inward. See, that is not what I would have expected. That is not intuitive. You really have to be told that. This must seem so obvious to Norwegians who ski, but uh, that that's something that I didn't actually know. You, you want to turn them both in. That That's kind of not what I would have uh, guessed, you could say. Start slowly with a friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, this is... <laughs> This would be me. Uh, I, I need someone to pull me around. <laughs> Are you ready to start turning? Turning? Okay. Slowly push out the right ski to turn left and the left ski to turn right. Oh. oh. Now you're skiing. Oh my. Now you're skiing. Okay, it's just that simple. Uh, these kids make this look so easy. They're so good at such a young age. How to stop? The best way to stop is just to sit down. Oh, wait a minute, what? This must be when you're learning. I've never seen anyone on TV stop by falling down. This must be like in an emergency if you have to stop. <laughs> there you have it. Now you are ready to start skiing. Wow. Wow, very good. This is, this is very fun for me. Okay, what's this? Um, this is why Norwegians are good in the Olympics. Sour mean mask class. Wow. Well, this is why Norwegians are good at the Olympics, because you got a bunch of little Norwegian children skiing around better than most American adults. This is incredible. Now that you know the basics, it's time to impress. <laughs> Carving. A smooth carve is the best feeling ever. 
Keep your skis parallel and put pressure on the outdoor ski to turn. Oh, this is when they're going left and right down the slope. Why do you do that? Why do you go left and right down the slope? Maybe it's to control your speed, I, I would imagine. Remember to always keep your upper body stable. Make sure you don't sit back too much, but keep a forward position. Are you supposed to go left and right and zig zigzag like that? Or can you go straight down the hill? I bet you go very, very, very fast if you do that. When it gets hills. steep, it's time to do some short turns. Ah, yeah. Wow. If it goes too fast, just stop for a second. Just stop. These I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm saying this so much, but... It's so cool. These kids are so good. This is why Norwegians are so good at skiing. Because you are, you're already amazing, at least by American standards, amazing, as, as, as children. Chill like a pro. If you want to look like a pro, you have to take a break like a pro. And buckle your boots, <laughs> but never take off your goggles. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Very good advice. Take a break, have some have some coffee, have a drink. Uh what is this? Try the ski park? If you're feeling What? Ski mask class. If you're feeling playful, head over to the park. They're actually doing tricks. They're not just skiing, like, perfectly. They're actually grinding rails and going on boxes and doing tricks as kids. Like, th this is what I mean. This is the American impulse I have. Uh, it's just normal in America. Most, most parents would be scared to let their kids, uh, to let their kids do stuff like this. But, uh, I kind of like the Norwegian philosophy of letting your kids do stuff. And if they fall down and get hurt, that's okay. That's life. I, I think that's actually a great philosophy. Race are really difficult. Huh. The boxes are not. Wow. It's super easy. Easy? It's easy? He's calling it easy. But remember to have your skis together. Whoa. Remember to have your skis together. What? Jumps. Nothing beats the feeling of a perfect jump. They do and jumps? And will impress everyone in your family. <laughs> uh, let, also, let's take a moment here. I just realized uh, how beautiful this mountain is. I just realized, like, look at these ski slopes. The mountains in the background. Look how much snow there is. This is not something you see in the United States. Um, although I think in I think in Colorado they have a decent amount of snow. Colorado uh, in the United States is known for skiing for some reason. But uh, <laughs> besides that, this is insane. Nothing like this. Nothing like endless snow on beautiful mountains. Um, I think that's another reason why Norwegians love to ski, is because Norway is so beautiful and so perfect for skiing. Park run. Now that you know the basics, it's time to do some runs. Max is going to show you how. Really? Go, Max! <laughs> wow. What? What? <laughs> I can't believe this. Like, I, <laughs> I'm trying to learn about skiing today. I was excited for that. But I'm just, now I'm just like distracted by how good these kids are. <laughs> 
<laughs> These kids are so good at skiing. Like, I can't stop. I... <laughs> It's kind of like making me feel, I, <laughs> if these little kids can do it, maybe I have a chance or maybe I have no chance. Maybe it's too late for me. I don't know. Splash. <laughs> what? Skiing should never get boring. This is how to get creative. How to get creative while skiing. At the edges of the slopes, there's fun jumps. Okay. Oh, oh! Wow! You can also head over to the ski lake place. What? Test your skills in safe conditions. What are these? What are these like pillows? What are these like inflatable balls on, on the slope? Test. What is this thing? This is just for fun, like whatever you want to do with this thing? Your skills in safe conditions. Huh. The best way to have fun is to have fun together. Set up a race and oh. see who gets to the bottom the fastest. Okay, uh, okay. it's like a, it's like an obstacle to do whatever you want. It's not always the parents who win. <laughs> yeah, I bet. No kidding. No kidding, I bet that it's not always the parents that win. These Norwegian children are better than anyone. I, I've been snowboarding a few times in my life. I've been snowboarding. Um, so I've seen people from afar skiing. These Norwegian children are much better than any American I've ever seen skiing uh, in, in the few times I've ever seen it in real life, uh, I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen Americans as good as these kids. So that's saying something right there. This was really fun, actually. This was by Visit Norway, and I gotta give this video a like. That was a really cool series. Um, there's also a good introduction to how to ski. They did teach me how you stop and start and turn and jump and a lot of things, but, uh, I gotta say, for me, the highlight of this was watching these kids do their thing and be fantastic skiers. Really, really cool. I think it also showed me that uh, the skiing culture and the, the child raising culture is a little different in Norway than here in America, which is also cool to see, actually. So I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on children skiing in Norway or skiing in Norway or skiing in general. That'd be very interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.